Are you tired of using fraps? Do you need a screen recorder that just works without having to pass your recording through a transcoder before running it through your editor? Then D3D Gear is for you. Hi guys, this is Master Crusader here. Today we're going to be talking about a product called D3D Gear. It's what I use to record Minecraft. I used to use fraps, but uh, fraps always the fraps codec doesn't work directly with uh, most nonlinear editors. Editors for uh, preparing your recording for YouTube. So uh, you have to pass it through a transcoder, which converts it into a usable codec. And that got tedious because, well, Fraps has a lot of problems. Um, if you want to watch my Fraps, how to record uh, Minecraft with Fraps video, I talk about some of those problems and D3D gear solves all those problems. So uh, we're going to talk about that today. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the UI. So this is what D3D gear looks like. It sit, when you install it, it just sits on top of everything and uh, you can uh, set it up properly. It's not responding because I'm recording something else at the moment. But uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll do screenshots of each of the, the sections. Oh, good. It, it is working. Good. Okay. So uh, this is uh, a recent build. Um, I did pay for it. I The guy who writes it, I don't remember his name, but uh, he's very good at support. So every time I have like a problem or uh, something's wrong, I can give him bug reports and he's very quick about responding. So that's what I really like. It's the personal attention to the support that I get from the guy. Um, it's awesome. So you, you can actually record arrow with it. I don't, uh, I haven't used this feature in a while because I use uh, another product called Screencast-O-Matic, which I'm using right now. Uh, but it's a pretty cool tool. So in your game, um, in one of the corners of the screen, your Fraps does this too. It tells you your frame rate. I'll show you that in a minute. But you can customize in D3D Gear where your frame rate goes. I've actually also used D3D Gear to replace my uh, screen my my uh, screen print button. Uh, I can use screen. I can do screenshots by pressing F7 anywhere, whether it's in the game or on Windows or whatever. It's very awesome. Uh, the record movie is where you're going to get into your settings for recording stuff. You can also broadcast with this. Uh, I'm not going to touch on this very much, but it's got uh, pre pre built settings for Twitch and UStream. And if you if you do stream somewhere else, uh, you just put in the settings and it'll automatically stream uh, out. So if you use Twitch or I use Twitch, but if you use Twitch or UStream, uh, the settings are built in there. And then overlays, you can overlay a face camera. Um, I know B00 and Let's see, Tobuscus does this. They put face cams in their screen. You can put this in there, and it all uh, compiles at once. But we're going to talk about this. So what you do is you specify a folder where you want it to, cre to create your files. If this folder does not exist, you can, it's a free text field, but if the folder does not exist, it will create the folder for you. It's awesome. You can set the keystroke for how you want the, uh, for what you want the, start button to be. I've got mine as a dual key in stroke, so I have to press end and home at the same time to get it to start recording. That way I don't accidentally start or stop recordings in the middle of recording. Um, in the video recording settings, you can choose how big you want it to be. It goes all the way up to very, very large. And uh, your screen, your, your frame rate will take a little bit of a hit uh, the larger you go, but it's not bad. Um, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, I hope it works. But um, I leave mine at uh, 1280, by, 1280 by 720. What this does is no, no matter what size your your Minecraft screen is, if you're running it full screen at 1080p or you've got a strange uh, window size, like you've got 1600 by 1080 or, or 1050 or whatever that strange size is, it'll resize the video down to 1080 by 720 so that it's always the same resolution every time you hit record, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you can choose your frame rate. Uh, frame rate is set in uh, some recorders. I, Fraps used to set it hard at 30, but you can set it all the way up to 60. And then you can choose the format if you want it to be an AVI or v WMV. I use WMV because AVI doesn't work very well with Sony tools. Um, you can choose your codec. There's a, a couple of different ones. There's a lossless codec. The files are absolutely huge in that codec. I use Windows Media 9. This is the uh, AC1 or VC1 codec, which is awesome. 
Um, you can choose your quality and how many threads of your processor do you want to dedicate to movie recording. The more threads you throw at it, the faster, it'll, the more frame rates you'll get out of the video. Um, but if you're throwing, what I usually do is I throw two threads at the recorder and two threads at Minecraft. And that way, they're both on separate um, cores in my processor and they don't conflict with each other. In the audio section, there's a couple of gotchas that you want to that you want to do it does record both the in-game sound the windows loop back which is everything so if you've got like your chat sound or skype or whatever it'll pick that up which is awesome so that you don't have to use like audacity to record your sound out of game sounds and then fraps to record your in-game sounds and it's really nice but uh for the windows in-game sounds i turn it down to uh the loop back i turn it down to 50 percent uh that might be a problem if you ever record with other people like on Skype and you want their voices to show up properly, you need to set this to 100. And then uh, in microphone, this is the microphone I use. It's Logitech USB microphone, and I set that to 100. You can actually bump it up louder. So if you want your voice to go down or your voice to be loud, whatever. So uh, when I record by myself, I set this to 50. I set this to 100. If I was to record with somebody else, I'd set them both to 100, and then I'd adjust my sound in-game so that it doesn't overpower the voices. Uh, you can convert surround sound into a stereo channel. This is for games that use THX uh, 7.1 surround sound or something. Uh, since YouTube doesn't s seem to uh, support full uh, surround sound, this will convert it to a two-channel stereo, which makes it really nice. And then this final one, use microphone recording in a separate audio track. This is nice if you ever want to pull your voice out of a video, but the problem is... Um, when you open up a video with two soundtracks in something like Windows Movie Maker, uh, the second soundtrack, which is the vocal soundtrack, gets deleted. And the uh, in f uh, Sony tools right now, uh, it actually slows down the loop back by 50%. So you have to, and then it chops it. It's really dumb. So I recommend not using that checkbox if you're going to use Sony tools to uh, to process your video. And then you can capture the mouse movement or and the frame rate number. I don't care about those. So we're going to keep those settings. Now in Minecraft, when you have Minecraft up, your frame rate is down here in the bottom uh, left corner of the screen. That's where I have it set. You can move it wherever you want. And it's having problems recording or showing the frame rate. This is the true frame rate of the program. Uh, the reason it's having a problem is because I'm recording it already with a different screen recorder. So they're kind of competing for uh, processor. So I'm not going to record anything right here. But when you're done, let me show you this. So this is just a little clip of the screen where I've done my recording for Minecraft. What it does is it records, it, it, labels, ugh, it labels it with the process that's running and the date and timestamp and then it, it does it in the, the recording. Now these files can get pretty big but they're still smaller than Fraps files like this file right here was 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes and it was only two and a half gig. You're still going to want to use your nonlinear editor to uh, to bring that down which is fine. Um, uh, you can use Windows Movie Maker it, record, it uses the files just fine. You can use Sony tools. Uh, Sony has a like a forty dollar um, video recording home system. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, you can use that. Uh, Premiere should work just fine as well. Um, so I'm not going to go into how to how to transcode your video down because I already do that in my other video. But if you wanted to, these videos they're already the codec is already built. You could upload these directly to YouTube the way they are. You don't have to do any post-processing if you don't want to add graphics or anything. You could record, if you set a, a timer, you can record for 10 minutes and upload it right away. I know there's a couple of people on, on the YouTube that do that. So here, that's, that's really it for D3D gear. It's super easy. It's super quick. I know this video was kind of longer than the other one because I I talked about it. But the, the, really, when it boils down to it, this is the... Uh, the best recorder that you could get for YouTube, at least in my opinion. So uh, it's it's relatively cheap. I think the guy charges thirty two dollars for it, thirty five dollars something like that. It's it's not bad. Totally worth it. You get lifetime upgrades. Uh, you get great support. You don't have to worry about the frap support, which takes forever to respond. 
Um, if you report a bug, he's really quick about fixing it. I've I've had him fix a couple bugs for me. So I don't I'm not getting sponsored by the guy, but I'm using his product, and I think it's awesome, and I think you guys should too. So D three D gear. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and uh, go check it out. So uh, we'll talk to you later. This is Master Shader signing off. Have a good day.